unique man adds a feather to his cap and lovers of art and culture have rolled out the drums to celebrate him. The man? None other than Professor Pat Utomi, who is renowned for his knowledge of numbers in the business world, but in private moments, he's been a patron of the arts for many years. Little wonder that part of a week-long event to mark his 60th birthday is done in a manner guaranteed to put smiles on faces. To his family, it's the most they can do to show appreciation to the man for all the love he has showered on them and others. On the bill are some of the funniest men the nation has produced and boy are they living up to that status. And when you think about it, Art is anything that challenges the creativity to arouse reaction from people, and comedy falls under that radar. As a guy wanted to go carry the next car, the father spoke. Now, this is the father. The boy wanted to go to the father's studio. Mm. Oh, Richie. Oh, Richie, my son. Oh, Richie, my son, come back. Oh, come back. As a guy came back. What is the problem? Oh, Richie, my son. There is nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, there is nothing. I haven't done. Oh, oh, I bring him. Julia Zagu, Teji Babyface, Alibaba are part of the act, and they all show why they are called rip crackers. I've seen Yoruba men drive cars, especially when it's new. You will know from how he addresses the car and the wife who recognizes that car. If a young man is driving his car and runs into a bomb, the wife tells him straight, I can never buy Because it is not the car that went into that hole. It is a young man. Music is another popular form of art, and this is also provided through high life. <laughs> Professor has been described as a man of many parts, and he adds another feather to the cap, showing off his funny side in a stellar performance. <laughs> but that's where the question stops. <laughs> These comedians have been waiting for my opportunity to reply and to revenge.
getting into some serious confusion because of this investigation. There was a time when the Niger Delta was heating up. And they would go for the right people to get the right price. And these comedians kept saying that I was kidnapped. <laughs> and then the people said to share a ransom note. And Shell looked at the photograph and said, This one doesn't work for us. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that it was bad for the cruise I was kidnapped. Because I tell you, for a fact, in the United Delta, I cannot be kidnapped. Because I was the one giving the lessons. And <laughs> how do I live with that business? <laughs> A unique way indeed to celebrate uniqueness. Prince Twain 77 was born in 1944 in Ijara, Oshun State, Southwest Nigeria. He was one of the original artists of the famed Oshobo School. A multi-talented artist, a band leader, dancer and actor. His artistic works reflect Yoruba culture. He is one of the artists who trained under Ulibe of the informal Oshobo Art School. Before he became a visual artist, he explored his talents in the theatre arts while working with a famous theatre group in the 60s, the Duru Oladipo Theatre Company from Western Nigeria. He was designated UNESCO Artist for Peace on 25th May 2005 in recognition of his contribution to the promotion of dialogue and understanding among people, particularly in Africa and the African diaspora. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Thirty minutes around the world of the arts and back. I hope you enjoyed taking this ride with us. And if you did, hit me on Twitter or any of our social media platforms. You know, I just love hearing from you. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.